Okay, so we have a question here from Paulo. Can you please talk a little about your custom config of the Fibonacci retracement tool? You mentioned that in a video a couple of days ago. Yes, so I guess I guess you are referring to this. I guess you are referring to this Fibonacci tool here, which I, I have two configurations, but actually that's a very good question. I always forget to explain to people how I configure my Fibonacci retracement tool, but I will just, uh, as we are right now on this chart, I will of course explain it and that's good because this is the chart I was going to move to. So uh, very, very good question and I will explain it to you guys. So usually, let me explain uh, just a small introduction using this chart here and I will just put it on the daily chart on the Pro Indicators Framework. So you guys know that already uh, one of my strategies is the Pro Framework and I usually use the strategy of the first range boundary, second range boundary and probably third range boundary. Let's see if this continues to the upside or not. But for now it's probable that this will be a third range boundary here. Uh, it's already forming, so let's see. So the point is that anything between a top and a retracement is a Fibonacci retracement where you can at least see the levels where you are going to be. But let's, so this is just a small introduction for you guys to understand how I use the Fibonacci retracement tool. Of course, if I wanted to calculate where the probability of a reversal on this, you know, this leg up that started around the 28,000 to around 52,000, something like that, I guess, 52 and a half, I guess. So if you guys wanted to uh, make the calculations where this top would be, you would use the Fibonacci retracement tool from this top to this bottom, and that will give you the levels uh, where the Fibonacci lines will be, and probably this uh, area will be on a Fibonacci level. But this is just to introduce it to you. Let's go to the total market cap where I already have my Fibonacci. So you guys know that exactly as I explained before, this is the start of the Fibonacci retracement tool. This is the second point, and then it will give you this area in between. And how do I do that? So I have two different uh, configurations for my Fibonacci. I have the standard levels and I have the green red levels, which is something I learned from Phil, you know, the guy that created the Pro Indicators framework, and he's also my mentor. I love to learn from that guy, he knows a lot. And this is an idea I took from him, and it actually helps me a lot to understand the chart. So if I were to use the standard levels, of course, these are the standard levels. You don't see the green and the red levels on the chart, but you see the Fibonacci levels here, and you know it doesn't help me very much so the difference between using this the standard levels uh, configuration or using my own configuration is that i only care about when the price action goes below a certain level or above a certain level because everything in between is the dumb zone and that's part of the pro framework strategy so uh, let me just, we already seen your question, so I will continue to explain, but let me just remove the question from the screen so that we can see it better. Okay, so this is the total market cap. I also use it to analyze the charts, not just Bitcoin chart. This one is very useful because it contains all the price action from all the coins. So uh, this is very useful if you want to... Um, get a you know a feeling of the total market and how this is going so this is the standard levels but i don't care about these levels in the middle this is the 0 0.5 which actually it's not a fibonacci level but it you know many people still use it just to have a sense where the 50 percent line is so if you have this kind of drop and then you start to go up and you have a reversal of the price action what you usually do is you start your fibonacci retracement on top you bring it the second point to the bottom and then it will give you the intermediate levels of the Fibonacci retracement and probably you will be able to see where the movement of the reversal will stop or have some resistance lines. So that's the purpose of the Fibonacci retracement tool. However, if you use it like this, it doesn't help you very much because as you can see, uh, there are no signs that actually there is only one, the point 0.618 uh, 
Fibonacci retracement, which is was exactly there when we had this resistance and we came back down and then continuation to the upside. But all the other levels, if you see them, they don't actually help very much because this one was a bit above this resistance here that also made us come back down and then continuation to the upside. But in any case, it's not exactly there. So what I've done is I transformed this into something which is more useful and more graphical to the eye. So it's easier to understand. So I just transformed it into this. And then I know, and it's much more useful as you can see, because every time it goes above the red, it's take profit area. Every time it goes below the green, it's long entry points. So I don't care about the middle. I don't care about this area here because this is the dumb zone. I will not uh, go long here around 50% of this retracement because that's a gamble. That's to gamble because at 50% of the retracement, you never know which direction the market will take. If it goes up, if it goes down. So it's a 50-50 probability and that in my book, it's called gambling. So if you want to get into the market with very, very good long positions, this is the point where you have to go in below the green and if you want to take profits and secure some gains from your capital this is where you take the profits above the red that's why i transformed my fibonacci into this because it makes much more easier for me to understand that this is a good area to go long this is a good area to take profits and of course if it happens that we are on a bear market then you use the fibonacci retracement tool upside down and it will put you the green on top the red on the bottom and then you see that uh, you know the take profit area will be below this one here and the uh, short entries will be above the green here so uh, it's much easier that's the only reason why i decided to do this and how do you do it well you just go here and let me show you the settings this is my fibonacci configuration for the red and green levels uh, so basically I use the same levels as the standard tool and then I just use these settings here. You will be able to rewind the video if you want because this is too big for the screen. So I have to scroll down. You will not be able to see all the settings at the same time. However, these are the settings I use. Uh, regarding the background, I use this around this level a bit more than 50%. And um, you know, I don't use the trend line. I don't use the extended lines left. I use the extended lines to the right because it prolongs this red and green to the edge of the chart. And then I use the standard levels. Uh, of course, I, um, I remove the colors uh, except for, let's see. Oh, so sorry, I forgot to mention, I introduced new levels, which are just 10 units above this one and 10 units below this one. So basically I'm using the standard level, which is 0.236. And then to have a different color, I use the 0.136, which gives me the size of the bar. And on the other side, I use 0.786. And then I created a new one, which is 0.886, which gives me also the, um, you know, the, how wide is this color bar here? So of course you can copy my settings and uh, the coordinates don't matter this is just where this starts and ends and the visibility i didn't change anything so i just use the style tab to make this and then don't forget when you copy this uh, and you use these levels don't forget this level here and this level here they don't exist as fibonacci levels i just use them to increase the uh, this line which is the actual uh, fibonacci level to increase it 10 units down and from this line, which is the actual Fibonacci here, to increase it 10 lines up, so I have the colors you see on screen. So that's it. Very, very simple. Uh, it took me some time to actually figure out how to do this, but as, as you have the settings here, you will be able to just copy them and test it on your own TradingView um, browser and start to use it the same way. Then don't, don't forget, the last, the last step is to come here save as your settings and give it a name of course i i gave it my name and the green red levels and the other one standard level so i can swap i can uh, swap you know in uh, to this one or that one at my pleasure 
whenever I need one or the other. So don't forget, when you do that, you have to save it so you don't lose the settings, okay? So that's it. Very good question from Paulo. So I, I uh, explained why I use the Fibonacci retracement tool and how I use it. So basically, I like to use it to get my entry points and my take profit points. Um, so it, it becomes very, very easy for me just to look here. Every time the price action goes below the green, uh, this is a good entry for long, uh, for long um, entries in the market. Every time we go above the red, it's very, very good to take profit and secure some gains. That's, it, it, it makes my life easier, so that's why I use this. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the answer. Um, and that's uh, sometimes people ask me, what's that red and green on your screen and stuff? And then I always forget to explain how I do it and why I do it. The why is much more important of, uh, than how because it simplifies your life and gives you the right entry points.